Welcome to the fourth video in how to develop a responsive portfolio series. Now this is the second part to the CSS videos in this course. And in this course, uh, we're going to be starting off um, where we left off. There is a quick change I made. I updated the Flexbox grid SCSS that I created. You can go here. Um, you can either hate yourself and uh, copy this URL or you can simply go to the description in this video and click the direct link to here and then you you can simply copy this and add it to your SCSS. The main changes I made here was I added padding to every um, feature as well as um, really making it mobile first. So um, a lot of the things that you see here are going to be for mobile first and then growing in size. And now we're going to actually add some media queries so the grid actually works depending on how big your screen size is. So we can go to, uh, we created a new um, partial called vars or variables and we can just title it real quick, save it, and then we can go to our main CSS and we'll go up here. and type in vars. This way we can use variables in both the typography as well as the grid partials. Now in vars we are going to create a new um, area called media and we're going to do medium and large. Now I already copied this. All you need to do is paste um, only screen and this should be min width. And let's do 768 pixels. Or we can do 768 divided by, oops, it's auto saved. Have that turn on. Uh, we have 768 divided by 16. So we have 48 rems. So we can convert into rems. And then for our large, which would be like a desktop size. Let's do uh, 960. Uh, six would be 60. Perfect. And now um, let's go to our grid and we can, let, in brackets, there's a keyboard shortcut to com, um, fold all the code, which is one or command one. And let's go to uh, large and small now. And what we're going to do here is actually we're going to create at media hashtag and then we're going to do our medium link. And we're going to actually put this in this hashtag or within this media query. So this means the medium and small column stuff as well as the offsets for them only work if the minimum screen size is 48 rems. Now let's do that for the large as well. Now, if you're interested, you can actually create very complicated and powerful mixins that um, it's almost like programming in JavaScript where you have a lot of loops and if then statements. So you can create a very automatic type of a media query which encompasses all screen sizes. So you can Google. Um, advanced SCSS or SAS media query mixins and uh, you'll be able to find a lot of stuff but we wanted to keep things simple. Uh, now it looks a little crowded if you have stuff like this but um, we're folded, folding the text and then compiling it to minified, SCS or minified CSS so it should be fine. Another, um, another cool thing I did is I created this thing called row and it's just another way of saying it's a container flex. So we can keep our um, our markup nice and semantic too. Let's go here. And we have the header background, container, header container, cool. We have this, see, like instead of container flex, we can just do row, we save it, and it's the same thing. So it looks a little bit cleaner as well. So I, I like it for that reason. So I'm gonna speed this up. Okay, now uh, we see that we have this contact area. Let's uh, check that out um, in our sketch file. 
Now this is a um, pretty um, big padding area. So let's see what we can do in here. We essentially have just everything centered and we have a four rem uh, padding. So we can go to our contact. And give it a background color of text and a color of white. Perfect. And a padding of four rems. Perfect. Now we need to take care of this. So let's go back to our HTML and we have um, social in here as well and we have social buttons so let's actually create um, classes for this contact title we have contact social and contact button perfect <clears throat> so we have uh, let's do a display flex for this Justify content center, uh, flex flow, row wrap, and we're going to do title, social, and button flex one hundred. See how that looks. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I know why. Uh, we have... We also need to give this a class of contact. Hmm. Yep, yep. Perfect. Okay. Now we need to center all this. So um, we could actually uh, do column no wrap as well. That might work as well. Column. And forget this. Let's see how that looks. OK. Um, let's see what we need to do here. So we can just go to our inspect element tool, go um, to social, and we can create a display flex here as well. Justify content, center, perfect. All right, um, so that works as well. And um, we have contact social there, so let's do Perfect. And let's go back to index. It's um, social button. Okay. So this we can actually create a new social thing here. Social and put our stuff in there. Oops. Perfect, and within here, we are going to do button and give it some margin. It would be zero and one rem. See how that works? Perfect, okay. And I think they need to be a little bit bigger. See how, all right. Oh, okay. Let's say, one rem. Now let's do 1.5. Perfect. 
and we need to make them um, white, I believe. Yeah. So that would be our uh, for Instagram. Perfect. And then we should add a hover as well. And hover. And the color should be, let's say, um, link. Cool. I think one more thing we need to do is add a transition effect. So it has a smooth transition when you hover over it. So we'll save that. And perfect. See how it's slowly transition transitioning to the link color. Perfect. Now all we need to do now is uh, figure out this um, contact button. So let's go back and see if we have anything for buttons yet. Uh, no, I don't see anything. Let's make sure there's nothing in typography either. Nope. Okay. So this is where we can again um, just create something, a button perhaps, and then call that um, background be the link color. We can actually also do is go in here and if you're using Sketch, you can just copy the CSS attributes. So we don't have to figure out the shadow stuff, um, which won't take too long. So we can just do something like, so we have our background as well as our box shadow. So we have a box shadow and background is going to be link and we can get rid of the rest and save this. Perfect. And it's going to be color white. And uh, text align center. Table layout. Text align center. Uh, text decoration none and transition all point two five seconds and ease in and out. See how that looks? Perfect. And let's give it some padding as well. Let's do one rim for now. See how that looks? Perfect. Okay. Um, so let's go back to our contact button. Let's move this up above. Perfect. And we'll go to our contact and contact button. So max width. Um, let's do 50. Um, see how, how the length here. It's 288. How many rims is that? 18. Yeah, let's do 18 rem. Perfect. And what we need to do here is perfect. And flex Do one perfect. Okay, we don't need the flex screw anymore. Um, and then the social, we need a margin bottom of let's go in there again and check it out. Two rims. Okay, let's go back. Yes, I know I didn't do that correctly. So the reason um, everything compiles when I click on another thing like this or another window is in brackets you can go to uh, edit and enable autosave on window blur. So window blur is just um, clicking on another window. 
Um, and that really speeds up my workflow, but sometimes it gets annoying when you like partially put in something and you saw a couple of errors um, pop up because I hadn't closed um, a CSS declaration or whatever. So it's it's um, usually a good idea if you are going to have some sort of uh, port, um, some sort of workflow like this to make it nice and easy for you. So um, we have our footer ready or our get in touch area ready. Um, what I'd like to do is actually I should I want to lighten up the color as well on hover. So um, on hover. This is a cool thing you can do in SAS is you can do lighten parentheses and link color, Let's say 5%. See how that looks. Oops, <laughs> it's background, not color. Perfect. Five is a little too much. Let's do 3%. Perfect. Um, maybe even two. Perfect. All right, so let's focus on the footer now. Let's go back to, and we just, it's very light. It's, um, let's copy this hex. Let's go back. See if we have it in here. Nope. We can do light and simply copy or paste this X code, save it. Go in here, uh, we have our contact already. So footer list. So if we can do Perfect. And I believe it's a little bit smaller as well. Yeah, they're 14. So 14 over 16 is 0.875. Font size is 0.875 rems. Okay. And um, footer list, I believe. Footer list item. Footer list item copy. Okay. So our. Um, item and we're going to display inline block oops not direction perfect and we're going to do uh, margin right of see how one, one rim looks <clears throat> looking good let's go back to sketch and uh, we have a uh, little bracket thing here as well. <clears throat> so what we can do is and after content simply put that in and we do margin and it be margin left it be 0.5 rem. <clears throat> And let's do 0.5 frame here as well. Perfect. And so we can do um, and last child. After and content none. Oops. Perfect. Looking good. And we need to give it a little bit of space. So let's go back. I believe this is 64, 128. So um, it's a margin of 4 rem, 0, and 8 rem. Perfect. Let's do this auto because I believe this needs to be in a container as well. 
class or a row a uh, container I believe perfect it's looking really good now um, I believe we need to uh, work on this uh, let's let's start from the bottom up uh, so we worked on this let's let's take a look at our block so let's go back to our home page and blog okay so our blog is going to have this image which I have I believe blog section background yep so we can um, use that here so we'll go to index or um, section ID contact nope it's ID blog before we do that, let's uh, try to clean these up. So we have our imports and we have our um, colors and fonts right here. So these are going to be our variables. So let's um, cut them out by pressing Command X, go to VARS and simply pressing Command V. And now we have everything and just blur it. It should still work. Nothing should be broken because we have linked everything correctly. And then we can also do something like modules. Modules will be things that use, uh, we use throughout the design, like a button or, or stuff that's not text because the text stuff would go in typography. So we have a um, button right here. And we need to go back in here and import modules. And we also have um, the contact area, but that's more of the layout. So um, let's blur it again. Should be good. All right, cool. So um, let's go to blog. We need a background URL of dot dot slash that means it goes up one um, in the directory and then we go to image and we go to background we can do background size cover background repeat no repeat see how that looks perfect alrighty uh, let's go in here and look at the size 32, 48. Okay, so um, let's let's do um, two for beginners. Um, let's let's kind of go back to a um, a mobile screen size. So we'll do uh, padding. So we'll go to and um, let's let's do padding actually yeah perfect and background perfect and this way, this will always be on the right, which we want. Okay. So now let's look at the, um, let's actually create um, a blog class as well. So this is going to be our blog, blog class. No, we already have a blog class. Blog container and then blog article and so forth. So we have blog twenty four and thirty two and 
two. So it's going to be 1.5. Um, the first link is going to be 1.5 rems from the title, and then everything below that's going to be two rems. So let's go back here. It's going to be blog article title. Okay. And the first one is going to be margin top is 1.5 rem. Perfect. And we need it to be the color of the link. So let's go back. Blog article link. article link is going to be color text. Perfect. Let's go back to our design. It's looking good so far. Um, so one thing we haven't done yet is add this little orange thing um, at all the um, before all the titles. So I believe it's just a um, flex title that we need to add to, or H2, I believe. We need to add it to H2. Okay, so let's go to our typography, H2, and before, content is empty space, padding is <clears throat> 0.5, background is um, link, See how that looks. Okay, cool. Um, let's do 0 0.5 top and margin to the right is I believe 0.25 rem. Let's do 0 0.5. Okay, it's looking much better. Perfect, okay. Maybe perhaps we can do five. Now let's just do 0 0.25. That's looking good. So um, let's, um, I'm seeing that it's, it's um, also affecting this. So let's see if um, they have something that's not in common. Uh, that's plug, contact. Title. So let's do title flex instead, instead of um, H2. Let's go back to our typography and cut this out. Where is title flex? Uh, let's go to the grid, I believe. Hmm. Okay, so we can add it to our typography. Um, let's do that and let's do perfect. Cool. Let's see. Um, It's also going to be flex 100%. Cool. So now um, we can move up and start working on the portfolio pieces. Let's 
go to our HTML again. We can get rid of that, close that. Okay, so we have row, portfolio, and title flex. So um, we only need to look at one portfolio. So, um, so we have portfolio piece, and then portfolio piece title and text. Okay, so let's um, start a new area called portfolio piece. And let's give it start by giving it padding of one rem. Effectively 4MG something messed up with there. I think there's a typo or something. So let's go back and <clears throat> it's a third one. More words. Go here. Okay, so um, portfolio piece also needs to be with 100%. Perfect. And it's to be um, Perfect. Okay, cool. Now we can go in and do, I believe it's title. Yep, title and tags are going to be white. Let's see if we can get away with just using color first. It's white. Oh, perfect. Okay. And we need to add some spacing between the title and um, title and the tags. Twelve thirteen or so I believe. Let's go back. Let's do text line center. And let's do margin bottom of one rem. Perfect. And height auto. So work. Let's do um, forty eight rem. Nope. Um, sorry. Twenty four. It's looking good. And we can also do um, display flex uh, flex or uh, flex direction column and justify content center see how that looks perfect that's exactly what we want um, and let's add a shadow um, to both the uh, title as well as the tags so T A G O T G S tags okay with it S. So text. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do.
Okay, cool. Gives it a little bit more pop. Um, in here, we need to text decorations, text decoration, and none. Perfect. And maybe do 0.75 rems. Okay, looking much better. Cool. Perhaps even 0.5. Yep, 0.5 works. Cool. Um, and now let's uh, let's look at the padding. So um, we're done with portfolio. Let's do port or we're done with portfolio piece. Let's go to portfolio. Check that out. We have two on the bottom and two up top. And between every one, there's two. Okay, so portfolio piece. Margin bottom is two rims. Oops, let's go back here. Oh, yeah, I believe it's portfolio piece. What we do is margin bottom is two rims. Perfect. And we need to have portfolio be margin two rims auto. Perfect. Looking really sharp. Oh, and we need to do perfect. Okay. So um, let's go up here and talk about this stuff. So we're going to have and Jim Anderson, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Um, let's close that. So save this, um, we have portfolio stuff taken care of. We have hero now, hero, row, hero headline and so forth. So we're going to have a background image. Cover. No, we don't, let's do contain. Nope, um, 100%. Cool, that works. Um, or let's do auto. Okay, and then um, background position is right. Let's do. Um, Perfect, that's looking good. Let's add some padding, I believe. Uh, let's see. Two.
perfect. All right, um, let's do hero headline. So two and then 16 and then 16, perfect. <clears throat> Odd. Why isn't this working? Okay, perfect. That's weird. That was some kind of glitch. All right. Um, this works. Uh, let's see. It's actually one. Then this is going to be body as well, and that's one as well. Let's go back to our main CSS and should this is two or one, not two. Cool. Um, it's already looking much better. Uh, let's actually, uh, there is a really cool snippet of code you can use. I believe it's font rendering. There's a whole stack you can use actually. Um, there you go. So we can select this. It's text rendering, add a one pixel shadow um, and smoothing. <clears throat> so let's add that to our body. And check that out. Awesome. See how it's just a little bit smoother now. Cool. Um, so uh, let's check this back here. So what I want now is I want this uh, contact me button to be at the very bottom like so. So let's see how we can make that happen. bottom zero and left zero Z index one perfect Do padding zero as well. Looking much better. Cool. Awesome. That's looking really cool. Okay, so now we need to go here and um, I believe you just don't see this thing uh, to begin with. 
so we have uh, the site title as well. To begin with, you don't see that. Display, none. Perfect. So yeah, we just created our mobile um, website, our mobile first website. So what we can do now is start um, to um, increase the the um, screen sizes and slowly build this up to a fully responsive site. So um, I am going to cut it off for now. And in the next video, I'm going to go um, and change our CSS to respond to your media queries. So we'll get both the tablet as well as the uh, desktop sized images. So for now, um, let's make, to, make sure to check this out. Um, in addition to the sketch file, I will be just putting up a quick GitHub repo of this whole project so you can follow along. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.